I've been called a hyper-realist um, and a photorealist. Um, I mean, to me, it's really... I tend to see a lot of detail and shadow. That is actually uh, in Harlem, um, and I've not actually been there. It's the one painting that I've painted, which is based on an area that I've never, I've never, uh, I've never taken a reference photo. Uh, I just kind of used. Uh, and what is it about this? Online. Well, and I think it's the palette, maybe. Um, the vintageness of it all. Does, yeah, it has a, it has a muted palette, which makes it almost feel like it's it was painted in the '40s uh, or the '50s, or I suppose that's a '60s car, but. Um, and it's got, you know, it's got that vintage car element in there, you know. Um, so what are the goals going forward now that you're a painter? Well, uh, you know, just to continue painting as long as I can, really. I mean, that's, that's really my, my goal. And to see, you know, how far I can push the realism uh, into things. And, and I'm really just kind of excited to see what areas I, I look to, to portray next.